a little bit about that, you know. We want to st- uh, straight talk to Anaya about my connection to Mary Magdalene. So uh, I have been born in a Hindu Brahmin family in India, in a Bengali family. So I honestly did not uh, look at Christianity as, as uh, a way to help my life. But I remember it was uh, possibly in my teens that I came across the name of Mary Magdalene. Mm-hmm. And her, her all saying, uh, I mean, Mary Magdalene Day is 22nd of July, her birthday. So I am born on 23rd of July. So if you take the, the different time difference, I think it comes yeah. about to the same point. So uh, that interested me and also the concept of uh, Mary Magdalene as a Tantric Bhairavi to Jesus and not just as a Tantric Bhairavi, but as an initiator. Yes, of yes. Uh, great tantric alchemy and and stuff like that. Because even if you look at uh, sadhaks like Paramhamsa Ramakrishna, when he learned tantra, he had to go to a Bhairavi to get initiated. So I sort of look at Mary Magdalene as one such powerful uh, lady and uh, a, a, a yogini, if I may say so, you know, oh, and yeah. uh, like like Babaji's sister Mataji. So I have a very profound connection with Mary Magdalene, and uh, I have been channeling her in my blogs and on my videos, and I've just been doing a lot of uh, meditation and and lucid dreaming sessions. Yes. So I just wanted to say that, you know, talking to you has been really nice because suddenly uh, I had, uh, I think, found you about a decade ago or so. I, you did not have a Facebook or anything. And I was very interested because of your Magdalene connection. Mm. And, and then out of the blue, YouTube just suggested your video that you shot in your home where you just moved. Uh, I think you did that with another girl. And, and I was like, you know, not going to watch it. But, and I just clicked on it and I watched the whole video. And it was so profound that you're doing this work and that your connection to Mary Magdalene, that to me is profound. So you are a, a yogini of the Mary Magdalene sect. Mm-hmm. And that to me is, is a very big thing because I am also a tantrika. I come from a family of Kali worshippers and, you know, like my family was brought down by the Pala kings to be the first Brahmins to pray to the goddess Kali. So I have a very close connection to Tantra and Kriya Yoga. So Mary Magdalene to me is one such yogini who deserves uh, to be spoken about more, who deserves to be, you know, just spoken about more. Beautiful, so, yeah. So that oh, was how I found you. <laughs> I, I love your imagery because your 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 headband looks like a little gold <laughs> halo. <laughs> yeah, you look you look really yeah. look amazing. <laughs> okay, so, so that, was, uh, that was the best part about you, and uh, I I really wish you all the best in. Uh, spreading the name of Mary Magdalene and, and being able to interestingly Kiara and me did a show with Julie Bindel on the birthday of Mary Magdalene do you remember that I even mentioned that that today is the birthday of Mary Magdalene yeah, I- Uh, yeah, so, yeah. yeah so, so I wanted you to go just to give us a little on the Virgo when you were talking about the moon okay. and Virgo right yeah. Yeah. So the archetype of the virgin yes, is to uh, me, me a, a wise woman who has awakened a kundalini shakti. And the kundalini is the serpent, is, is the key, you know, the, the, the prana, the lies coiled at the navel. So uh, to me, the virgin is someone who could uh, awaken this. In tantra, you do this, you know, when the the, the Bhairav and the Bhairavi get together in a process called Maituna, which is sexual union, uh, the Kundalini awakens. So the virgin are these high priestesses who work with the goddess energy and they surrender to the goddess energy. And these uh, virgins have existed uh, since time immemorial in cultures like Sumer and cultures like that. 
Babylon, in India, all over the world. And I'm sure in indigenous shamanic cultures, you have women like this who understand the, the secret of the Kundalini and the sacral chakra, which lies just uh, under your navel, just above your vagina. That is the place where alchemy occurs. That is your creative energy. So with this, this energy, you can create anything. How you said you learn to balance the energy. And, and when you balance that energy, the show came, the, the idea came as to how sacred this work could be, right? So that is what to me is a virgin, a tantrika who understands the alchemy of the kundalini, who, who literally, uh, when she sleeps with men, when she engages in the process, she, she heals him every single time. You know.